because I'm a student in the uh, medical laboratory science program here at Rush University Medical Center. Uh, as a medical laboratory scientist, you're responsible for uh, most, if not all, diagnostic testing that goes on in the hospital. Uh, you relay that back to your uh, to the doctors and physicians to help with patient care. I like working with other students who are going to be going to different professions. Uh, I think that from that experience, you realize that everyone has something to offer and everybody's unique perspective and experience uh, just makes it for a richer learning environment. Uh, so the second thing I liked about IPE 502 was our mock patient experience that we did at the end of the semester. Um, that was a time for us as an inter interprofessional team uh, to come together and work with the patient and uh, listen to what they have to say. And, and from there, I think what we gained most from that uh, was just learning how to uh, interact with the patient, especially for me who's in medical laboratory science, you're not directly working with the patient you're in the laboratory most of the time. So it gives you a bit of that, uh, that, 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 that perspective in order to uh, just know that what you're doing is just as important as what a physician or nurse is doing. Uh, working together is paramount and that again, every, everyone has something to offer. And again, then uh, not one piece of, of healthcare, or one portion of healthcare is more important than the other. You're gonna learn just as much from the patient as the patient learns from you. It probably a lot more, all right? And what I mean by that is that their input is gonna drive the conversation and it's your job to listen. So it becomes more important to listen to them than to tell them what to do or to tell your patient what to do. My IP experience was impactful for a few reasons. As I always think back to that first meeting that we had as a group. You know, would introduce ourselves, say what our program was and what we were hoping to do and a little bit about what, um, like for me, what a, a registered nurse would do. And it was just amazing to go around and even though we were all in healthcare programs, the, the sort of disconnect in knowing what each of us um, would be doing or would do or what we might contribute to a team. And so to see that day, that first day, and then working with the health mentor all the way through the end and um, our final presentation to see how much we learned about each other and how we could each contribute to a team was pretty incredible. And I think it's important for all healthcare providers to be versed in um, interprofessional education just because you, can, you don't take a care of a patient in a vacuum. Um, you're constantly working together, and I think it takes some skill in that. It's not just you know naturally knowing what I do, what you do, um, what anyone anyone's role is. And so I think it's important to actually practice that, just like we practice anything else. Having IP as part of the education here at Rush, I think, is so unique, um, and it's so important. And um, when you look at other colleges of nursing, other medical schools, other colleges of health sciences, I don't think you see IPE as something that's offered universally just yet. I think it's increasingly important that it's offered and it feels like Rush is really ahead of the curve in offering this program. Yeah, I had the opportunity to be able to work with a variety of different students from different backgrounds. I had another pharmacy student, um, a dietitian, um, yeah, another student that was like a science engineer like a, in pharmaceuticals. It was something where you really get to value a lot of the um, other professions and get to see kind of like how their outlook is on healthcare. It was really helpful um, to learn about other people's backgrounds but then also know that we're helping someone in the community too. Um, it's something where, you know, it's, it's really tough at this early stage to really have a huge impact or feel like you're having a huge impact, but then like at the end of it when you're like having the conversation with the person that you're working with and they're actually making moves towards their goals and their SMART goals and at, even if it's not ginormous leaps or something like that, being able to make small steps is really small increments and improvement is really, um, it's really impactful. It's really something some, that uh, you don't get to see every day that I hope that I'm able to do on a regular basis. And really get to know the people on your team, you know, like um, try and bond with the people on your team because these are the people that you're going to be working with classically for the rest of your life. We're able to kind of gather information and use it um, to help better healthcare and what we know as healthcare today. I learned from my uh, health mentor moving forward personally that um, to be patient, to understand that everybody isn't exposed to everything um, as you have been. It, accepting what people uh, have experienced and, and learning from it, using it, and also helping to teach so we can help better the future. 
I am definitely more open-minded because of my interprofessionalism experience, um, not only with the health mentor, but also with my teammates. I would tell a student who has yet to take IPE to be open-minded, um, to come in expecting to learn um, from other people, um, be exposed to not only the students, your teammates, but also um, the health mentors that we have because um, they taught us um, their situation in their words and how they see life and how they experience health care. It takes teamwork to better health care.